Welcome to the third part of Lucy Ladies and Paolo. <laughs> and uh, well, basically, you can see here I've got a very happy, sunny smile. And you know I do the happy news, and I'm, I'm still waiting for someone here to come up with a really happy story for us to end with when we end. So if we keep thinking, thinking of a happy story. But uh, um, we've had a lot of fun today. We've had some incredible guests, and I mean, it's wonderful, you know, that we've managed to get everyone together this week. And we've got a lovely lady. It's taken me forever to get you here, Yvonne. Oh, me. <laughs> Absolutely forever. I met Yvonne on Street Life. And uh, Yvonne is talking about raising money for a nursery in Africa. No, not, not money. Oh, sorry, no, toys. Toys, yeah. Of uh, course. I have a friend. He works with another friend in a garage in Radnage. And we would we'd go for coffee and we chat. And he was telling me he was going back to Africa for it. He goes back every now and again for a short trip. And um, he, he was saying, oh, you know, I'd, I'd love to do something when I'm there. And I said, what is that? He said, oh, it's a dream of mine. I want to set up a nursery because it's a very poor village where his sister lives. And the people, when they do get work, which is rare, but when they do get work, they have to leave their children with the other children or with it, whoever. And he said the children are just there, they're not doing anything. And he said, I'd like to really set up a nursery and get it going. And before he'd even finished, I said, well, can I help you? Mm. And uh, he said, oh, I was hoping you'd offer. He said, oh, I was thinking of asking you, but I didn't want to. Because, you know, it's quite, quite, when you want to do something, quite often you want help, but you don't like asking. And um, so, anyway, so I said to him, I'd get as many toys as possible, and and we could go. To, he would go in April, and I would either go with him or just after with the toys and things. And that's when I went on street life. In the meantime, he sent me some pictures of a school there, the local school, which costs a hundred and something twenty pounds for each child to attend, and it's the most dreariest looking school. It was just a concrete room with no pictures on the wall, no shelves with books or anything mm -hmm. and the children were sitting on little plastic chairs and they were sort of sitting like that but they looked so full of beans and so mischievous and but they were silly and I was thinking well if I'm going to go there to help set up this nursery I want to set up you know something for these children so I'm collecting books for not just for nursery but for older children mm -hmm. and um, I, I sit there sometimes at night time and I imagine the walls brightly covered and shelves put up full of books and the children drawing at their table and playing games and so many people have donated things like recorders I just need to find a book that will show very easily and clearly how to play a recorder because some uh, a very kind lady I can't remember her name I had all the names written down um, donated 12 recorders and somebody's given a, a guitar and somebody else has given another guitar so these these children they're very musical as well so mm. Fred was telling me and I'm not musical at all, I'm the, I'm awful, I can't even dance, I've got two left feet to dance with. But it's just so exciting to be able to put something back, to give something, because I've been very fortunate in my life. I had a very hard start in my life, but people have always helped me, pushed me up yeah. a wee bit. And I just feel grateful, and I think if we all do something, we could make this world a much nicer place. This is what we're trying to do here on mm. Moving On TV, so mm. welcome to being here with us. So you're not looking for toys? Yes, I'm looking, looking for, for toys, toys, toys well. and books, you're but not, not money. Sorry. No. <laughs> you can't have Big Ted either, I'm sorry. I keep taking him, trying to take him to the dump and I bring him back. He's a massive teddy bear. I've had him since I was 20. Oh, so we'll I'm sorry, him. we're talking about attachment issues. No, we don't <laughs> give him away. No. He'd be sorry. No. It's like me, I've got masses of books. I, I love reading and my mind is always... Although I'm a quite an old lady now, you're my mind old. is quite... Off. We're I getting am. younger every minute as you're here. Oh really? Yeah, because <laughs> you. you're talking about your passion. It's making you look even younger. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, but I, my mind, you know, they say as you get older, you become more forgetful. You do this, you do this, you go downhill, you lose interest. It's the opposite for me. It's almost as though I'm starting up again. My mind is so busy. Mm -hmm. And in fact, somebody was telling me I'm like a runner that keeps tripping over their own feet because my mind is constantly thinking of what I can do mm. and how I can do it and, you know, to yeah. just put something back. So what do you need? What do you need I to need help yourself? You see, because I, I can identify with that when mm. moving on TV. Um, at 12 o'clock, uh, I don't know if you saw, but 12 o'clock um, last night, my uh, cameraman suddenly realised he had an exam. And I was running around like a chicken without a head, 
Facebooking, I didn't sleep all night oh uh, just to try and get someone here because I was determined to do this and mm. just literally contacting the whole world. That's mm. how I run living on mm. TV. I'm like yourself, I'm full of beans, I'm in my mm. like 50s now mm. and I've got so much energy and I'm running around so it's really interesting, mm. we're meant to do it. Mm. So, but what is it you need? How can we help you if you want to tell um, whoever's going to be watching which is how many people now? Over a million! Sorry, that was either <laughs> piano in there or something. Go on. Um, books, storybooks, um, musical instruments, simple musical instruments, you know, like an accordion or, I don't know, what do children play? A little, a, 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 a tiny piano would be great, you know, some, not something big that could, can't lug it around. Because Fred's got container, he takes stuff over to Africa. And, oh, I see. And, and I've got loads of stuff, but I want to give even more because what, those children in that school won't use, perhaps another school will pass up. And I've been thinking, if it's a hundred and something pounds to one of these children to go to school, and they've not, there's nothing there for them to do, it looks really boring. My idea is to get in there, and this is only for two weeks I'm going there, to get in there and try and encourage the older children to teach the younger children. So. Oh, you know, they would be able, they would be able to pass their knowledge on, and, and they would bond as well. Yeah, and that's really. But the fun. thing is. It's what are they paying all this money for? Two hundred and twenty pounds. I think he said it was hundred and twenty pounds. And this is in Africa. Year. This saying. is in Africa. Maybe it's to it's pay. Strange. I don't know the teacher or what have you. Because I was saying to him, well, you know, I most probably won't be able to leave once I get there. But I have to because I've just started a lovely new job, lovely, and um, the best job I've well, one of the best jobs I've ever had, um, or practices I've worked in. And um, I said, oh, I won't be able to leave. And he sort of said, well, you know. You can sponsor a child, one hundred something, one hundred and something. That he said that would help that child, help the family in the future. Sure. But what actually happens if they can't pay that? They can't go they to don't school. Go, they don't go to school. No. That's dreadful, isn't it? Mm, mm. Actually, oh, I just got a text coming in, <laughs> but we're not live. <laughs> Sorry, um, that's just a joke. Mm. So what do you do? You say you have another job as well. As oh, I, I have. I have. A, this isn't a job. This is just. A, your fun. Uh, yeah, it's a project that I've got mm. involved in. I'm a dental hygienist. Oh, okay. And I work in a lovely practice in Stoke and Church. It's newly opened, so everything's nice and new. The people are lovely. The equipment's brand. I've worked in some really awful practices, dental mm. practices in Wickham, in London, mm. and some really lovely But ones. then we were saying, you see, about the cake and cutting the cake. And when we had Susan Ng Simmons from Marley FM with us, mm. and she was saying that's the problem with our world is some of us have so much and with all due respect mm. you know people can go and have all these different white teeth whitening and god knows what and spend like 700 pounds mm. on one tooth i think mm. it is mm. and these children 120 pounds just for them to get an education mm. so where where how are we going to change this so we're here to to as you say these children that you're getting to mm you will make a mark on them and hopefully oh, also I'm, get, I'm getting these the cheap toothbrushes from the pound store i mean they're not the best toothbrushes because they're hard but, um every week i go to the pound shop and i spend a couple of pounds getting some toothbrushes mm -hmm. and some crayons and things but also i can show them how to brush their teeth because a lot of children or people in underdeveloped countries they have problems with their teeth and gums and that has other mm. other reaching mm. other far reaching problems it will cause you see, it's amazing that what we've done here today is we've taken care of High Wycombe and now we're taking care of Africa. <laughs> we need to get Bob Geldof on. <laughs> so anyway, so you're collecting, back to what you're saying, you're collecting instruments. and you're Musical uh, instruments. Musical instruments, mm. but you said something about needing some kind of uh, informational oh, book yes, about how to use the, the record, how to play it, how to play the, record, no, the recording no oh recorder yes because right you know I, I remember years ago when I was at school you had sort of like a music a, a musical note was was a, a letter and you you knew what letter to press mm. to get this sort of sound and you put them all together and you got a tune I need something very basic like that okay 
Where would you get something like that, Paolo? Are you a find, musician? Find it on the internet, I would have thought. Probably. You could be able to print off something yeah. like that from the internet. Mm. Okay. So that might be an idea. Do you want to make a contact? Yeah, you can do that. Would that be okay? Yeah, you could fine, kind yeah. of help, yourself, mm. help each other so then they will be able to. Do, but how would they understand the English? Do they well, speak, they speak English. Oh, they, yeah, speak they speak English. English. Yeah, well, that's really mm. good. At least I think so. I hope so. <laughs> And mind so, you, you can you can communicate with anybody. I think because sure. you know, I actually when we were in the hospital, we were taught to treat, um, communicate, and treat people with deaf, blind, and deaf, blind, and mute, and just show just by touch. You can you know you can show somebody by mm. touch what you want to convey to them. Wow, that's mm. really exciting. Mm. Uh, what do you think, Edwina? How would you be able to? become part of it. I mean, how would you, how do you see this project? Mm -hmm. I think uh, it is very important to get the material right. Now, you have got those tools, but education is about idea. And uh, you provide them with the right songs, the right <laughs> inspirations yeah. that are inspiring towards moral and uh, motivation and music. Mm. I think that would be the That's really best good. Kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. Shall we all go uh, out if, there? If, if they have got <laughs> you know, a band of red recorder players, yeah. uh, then they probably need something like a, a musical triangle or mm. drums. Mm. Mm. But you can mm. come on anything. anything, anything yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Then, is, wow. Would that make a good song, do you think? I mean, uh, would that make a good accompaniment? Uh, well, I don't know, but mm. I'm not a musician. <laughs> Still learning guitar. Mm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but and you, Mala? It's a it's wonderful really idea. Yeah, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I feel blessed the fact that the project's come up because mm -hmm. it's not very often you get a chance to do something so positive. You know, mm -hmm. life is such a struggle, mm -hmm. and you see so many people struggling, and you just sometimes I I just don't I don't watch television anymore, listen to the news because it just swamps me. Mm -hmm. It just you, you you can become overwhelmed with the sadness mm. and the and the mm. unfairness and the cruelty right. in this world. So mm. every now and again, I just shut it off and I spend the time with my dog. And I've got two lovely ducks and six chickens. Oh, so lovely! Mm. That's a lovely happy news because mm. what we're going to do is we're going to end with a happy news. Mm. So I'm going to go around. And everyone is going to hold yeah. Sunny, <laughs> and you you've just done one. But before we before we finish, can you tell everyone mm. how to get in touch with you? what you need and how to get in touch with you. Do you have a website? Is there a contact number? How are people going to get in touch um, with you? You can, you, oh right, you can call me on 01494 26 22 67. If I'm not there, if you could leave your telephone number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and we'll go from there. Thank Great, you. thank you very much. So thank you've you. heard Yvonne, uh, wonderful project. We, we've given you so much today on this programme. And as I say, we're looking for amazing people out there. We're looking for talent. We're looking for your stories, your dreams, your passions, your problems. We're here for you to discuss everything. You've got a platform. You've got a safety net of some kind. That's what Moving On TV is. And you can tweet me at Moving On TV. You can Facebook me by liking us, uh, Moving On TV. You can email me at lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, at movingontheatre.co.uk. And you can call us on our phone, <laughs> 07437 532 798. And that's it. That's it for today. So, I mean, we've discussed so many incredible things. We've, we've talked about vanishing twin syndrome, and hopefully in the next program, which I, will be after Christmas, um, we will have someone to talk to either on Skype to, ex to explain to us. And the 21st of December is, is actually Vanishing Twin Syndrome Day, where people actually mem remember that twin that they lost before they were born, that they're just discovering. Mm. It is really fascinating. We talked about the homeless. We talked about so many different things. We had the beautiful Kimmery from Unity. We talked about the prayer line and how we can connect to the prayer line and get high, higher vibrations and have an easier day. Um, thanks to the prayer line, I'm here. And uh, as I say, we're looking forward to lots of other things. We're bringing on Jackie Travis, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today, who was in Big Brother last year. And I'm sure it's going to be great fun finding out 
how is it to live in the Big Brother house? And we're looking for you guys, we're looking for the people that we want to ask the questions to. Why are we all struggling? Why can't we create a better world? So we want you to come on and we want you to share and, and also sponsor us. We're looking for businesses to sponsor us. And thank you so much to Morris Fleischer from Video Enterprises for taking on today and saving the day basically and giving us this wonderful program. And we're going to end now with a happy story. So Yvonne, what happy story can you give us today? My ducks. Your ducks. <laughs> Every time I come home, as soon as they see me through the window, they come quack, 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 quack in up to the window, they knock on the window and I have to go and get some bread and I get some bread and break it up and I feed them and I've got chicken. The chicken was being bullied by the other chicken so I had to take it away from them because I've separated my gardening lot. <laughs> and, and usually the chicken, would, when I first had the ducks and the chickens, the chickens would attack the ducks. But now they're all like one little family. Little friends! And my oh, dog no, sits no. there with her head over my shoulder watching everything because she loves other animals. Oh. Except dogs because she gets attacked by dogs. But, uh, <laughs> and she loves people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? One happy family. Mm -hmm. Thank you mm -hmm. so much Yvonne for coming in. And I wish you good luck with the project. Um, come back if you need anything else. If you need people to support you because you may grow. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can work together in some way. Let's say we're all here lovely. to work Thank together. You. Okay. I can't give you my accordion. She's Ilana, and I've had her since I was six, but she's burst her bellows. <laughs> I'm always joking about that, because uh, if I perform and she bursts her bellows, I get out the glue and I, I, I give her, I put some glue and I say she's having her Botox. <laughs> but apart from that, you know, as I say, I'm terrible. I'm too attached to my everything, my crumbly mm. toys and everything. But if you pass Sunny over to Edwina, go in, Edwina's yeah. going to do a happy story. Well, a happy story is that uh, um, <clears throat> I decided uh, one day to um, recruit someone uh, from the street uh, uh, to do my gardening. And uh, uh, since then, uh, it's boosting my house. And as, as, as I was really getting quite upset with him, he suddenly seemed to have turned around today. <laughs> and. Um, he seems to be on the way uh, to uh, get his uh, lorik sound. I think it's called a CPC or something. Mm. Wow! Done today. He got up early today. <laughs> no, wonderful. <laughs> so you been... gave someone a home, and they're doing really well from that. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm. Right, Mala. Happy okay. story <laughs> for a change. This is the happy news. Mm. <laughs> For today, it was a happy, what made me happy. I came, and I'm glad I came. I spent a nice afternoon here. And uh, meeting Edwina once again, connecting <laughs> with him again. So that's it, and meeting all of you and dear people who already left. So for me, it's been a happy time. Happy Thank story. you so much for coming, and we look forward yeah. to seeing you back again for the next Looser Ladies. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, God, my happy story is just this. I mean, uh, it actually manifested. And um, as I said, sometimes I, I need to trust more. <laughs> I need to trust. People tell me, like Kim Marie, who came from the fair line, I'd say that's probably the happy, very happy thing that happened today, was ringing them up. And I was crying. I was really upset and really scared and didn't know what was going to happen because this has been planned. I planned it all week. And they just said to me, it's okay, you can cry, whatever, we're there for you. And, and they raised me. And so my happy story is that we did the most extraordinary program today. And thank you very, very much, everyone. Hi, Paolo. Thank you. Well, I'll go back to my red kites. <laughs> beautiful creatures. And to see them swooping down, picking up the bread, majestic, graceful, uh, and so, so big, so much bigger when they're right close mm. to you. And... Uh, touches my soul. It's a beautiful thing. It's, it's a beautiful so thing. powerful when they yeah, dive very much. And so accurate with their talents, yeah. the way they pick things up. It's just as long as they're at not the cats. speed. <laughs> yeah. No, they, yeah, it's they like one do one cat. It's one too fast. Do, do, do they not do they don't attack other animals? Don't they just eat carrion? Most of the time they eat carrion. Oh, yeah. Yes. Because okay. I have one that sits oh, in a tree just oh, near where yeah. my chickens are and at first I was a bit worried. And happy was, stories, remember? Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, yeah was saying, I, was, I was worried, but they seem to just sit there and make a lot of noise. They don't oh. affect my chickens at all. My okay. chickens are quite happy. 
So there you go. Thank you for Lucy Lady. Bye. Sorry. That's Happy okay. New Year. Oops. Bye. Bye. Shalom. Peace. Shanti. Mm -hmm. Salam alaikum.